What's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv. As you know, I get inspiration from all over the place. There have been people who've been in my life forever who have been extremely instrumental, and today I get an opportunity to introduce you to one of those people. She is an amazing gem. You're going to love her just as much as I do. And listen, we're making biscuits. We're making Burt's Buttermilk Biscuits. Four simple ingredients. You will not believe this recipe. I guarantee we've cracked the code and you completely can get in the kitchen right now with everyday ingredients and make these amazing biscuits. And of course, everything we do, you know it's gotta be simple, easy, delicious, and just good food. So we're gonna start off making Burt's Biscuits. Now is there a special name for the biscuit? Not, you don't really have to give them a name since I'm a sham with the world. You sham with the world. So you're just yeah. gonna call them Burt's? Burt's Biscuits. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Okay, so what do I do for now? I'm gonna make these and she's gonna walk me through. Okay, so what's what's first? What do I do first? Okay, you need two tape, two cups of shortening. Two cups of shortening? Two cups. Okay, now I gotta eyeball this. You gonna eyeball it. Now, okay, so two cup. I don't know how much a cup. I mean, I do, but let's see. That's about a cup, huh? That's not a cup. That's not a cup? <laughs> Okay, how much is a cup? It's gotta be like a mountain. A mountain? That's a cup. That's a cup? That's a cup. Okay, that's a that's a okay, so two big cups. One big cup of shortening. Okay, so I'm putting one cup or two cups? One cup of okay, shortening. Okay, one cup of shortening. I'm not gonna fly back here, it's one cup of shortening. <laughs> I'll get it right the first time. Okay. okay. One, one cup. cup of shortening. Okay, and put that that goes inside. It goes into your bowl. Okay. Okay. Now does it matter what kind of shortening? No, like, could I could matter. I use like the butter shortening or you could use the butter shortening. I could. Yes. Nah, I, okay. Yeah. I gotta get all this out. Yeah. Get that. Okay. Can I use butter for this? I think you should stay with shortening. Stick with it. Okay. Yeah, stick with your Is shortening. there a certain reason we use the shortening versus butter? Because you said so. That's all that not, matters. Not, not because I say so. Because if we had more shortening available in Alabama when I grew up, then butter. Then butter. Got it. Okay. So okay. So here is the um, shortening. Yes. Okay. Uh, what what do I do now? What goes then next? you should pour some buttermilk on top of your shortening. How Which, much buttermilk? Am I supposed just to pour? enough so your butter so your shortening will get creamier. Oh, you want it to be okay. A little creamy. Okay. So you're gonna tell me when to stop? Yes, I'm gonna okay. tell you. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, that's fine. That's that, fine. That's good. Okay. Then okay. Just okay. 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 Buttermilk. So we got buttermilk and shortening. Two very simple ingredients, right? Too simple, very simple. Because the whole recipe is simple. Very simple. Got it. Okay, then what, what happens next? Then you're going to mix that. Most what? people will use their spoon, but we didn't do that. We used our hands after washing our hands, uh -huh. removing your jewelry, uh -huh. and then we would go in to make So you want me to mix this together with exactly. my... Exactly. Okay, all right. So any way, just go Any way okay. you want to. All right, I'm just, just going to Just so you get it, you know, kind of... Together. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what am I looking just to mix it together? Because this feels really weird. I want you to know that. That's okay. No, don't problem. Don't worry with that. You want to taste the biscuit. Okay. Not fair. Right. <laughs> good point. Good point. Good point. Okay. Now I'm going to add just a little more buttermilk. Because I didn't put enough. Because you didn't put enough. Okay. And I know the look of the consistency. You know the look. So you do this by look. Like you know how it's yeah, supposed you know, to be. Yeah. Once you do this a couple of times, everybody can make these. Now, now how, many, how many times do you think you've made a batch of these biscuits? Well, probably, um, I don't know how many times ago, we used to make them every morning because we only used uh, biscuits for breakfast. So you we didn't have use, them? We didn't use toast because we used, we had to go to the grocery store to uh, get regular bread okay. that we used for our lunch when we went to school. So so you so used to have these every day? Every morning. Okay. That's how the bread you had. You had a biscuit? A biscuit. Every morning you had a biscuit. Every morning you had biscuits with some type of meat like salt meat that you had to boil uh -huh. prior to frying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then you had grits. Every morning. Every morning Got you it. had to sit down. Now let me ask you a question. You had grits with um, sugar or salt and pepper? Oh no, never sugar and pepper on grits. Never, just salt. Never, just salt. Okay, there you go. That's the way we did. Now you did this way, where'd you grow up? Grew up in Mobile, Alabama, right on the Gulf 
of Mexico. Got it. Okay. Now you ready with that? I'm ready. Now this is how it's supposed to look. Yeah. You just on how to you don't have any big lumps in there. No, no, it's kind of smooth. It's kind of smooth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Could I do this with like a mixer? I gotta use yeah. my hand. Yeah, you can do it. You just yeah. You don't want to whip it to death. Okay. Yeah. Just just yes, incorporate. Yes, incorporate. Got it. Okay. Exactly. And your hands look like this. When your you're hand looks like that. Okay. Right. So then what what happens now? Now what you do now you're gonna need your. That's why I always pre met pull everything prior to that because you know you have to keep because it's gonna be hands. messy. It's gonna be messy. Okay, well you here. Work. So okay, now what? Yeah. Now you're gonna take your uh, two cups oh, of we flour. Don't need okay, so we're not using that yet. Okay. Two cups of flour. Okay. I'm gonna get that for you. Please, okay? could you please help me out? We'll do that. My hands are a little, you know. Okay. Now what kind of flour? Now always use self rising flour. Self rising, rising flour. flour. Okay. Two cups. Now, if you got a big family, you won't have to multiply. Like times each, two. Yeah, okay. times two. Okay. okay. So, so four got, cups, you got a big family. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to put this in there. Now, let's get our baking powder because that's very important. Okay. Now, this you, make, how much of this do you need? That's three teaspoons, but I'm not going to measure it for you, but you measure it. Three teaspoons of baking soda. Baking powder. powder. Baking be powder. sure it's powder. Don't, don't go with the soda. Because it's not going to be right. No, oh, make it with the powder, okay? All right, there you go. So what? So you put the powder in here? Yeah, usually what I would do, because I'm doing it your way, usually I would just put it in my flour and just dump it in there. Oh, you mean another bowl? We yeah. can do that. Okay, let's okay. do another let's bowl. Let's get a bowl. I learned how to cook from my mother, which had been taught by her mother. And once my sister and I, I have two sisters, she taught us how to cook, and that was our responsibility to cook all the things that she had taught us to cook. So when she got home from her job, those things would be already prepared, and she could continue the dinner, and then we would be able to go outside and enjoy our friends. Well, one of my best memories would be Christmas, because we put a lot of, into Christmas. We started early, and we made pies early, and we made all of the things that could be prepared before Thanksgiving Day was chopped and diced and put in the refrigerator. And then we went shopping and we just had a great time with friends and neighbors and everything was built around the family and cooking. Even when you went to someone's house, their mother might tell you to chop up those peppers while you guys sitting there. So cooking was just a, it was a, time to get around the table and enjoy and tell jokes and just have a fun time. So here's the bowl. Here's the bowl. Okay. We're going to just put your baking powder and your two cups of flour. In a separate bowl. In a, yeah, because you can have your baking powder already in there. Yeah. Okay. And that way you're not trying to. Now, do you sift this or anything? Oh, some people sift it. What you do? I don't sift mine, but you can. There's nothing wrong with sifting it okay. if you want it. Okay. And, and I mix just try to incorporate those two ingredients together. So self-rising flour mm -hmm. and uh, baking powder. Powder. Got it. Perfect. Okay. okay. Two cups of self-rising flour. And it has to be self-rising. It has to be self-rising. No all-purpose. No bread flour. Well, if you... If, a, if you're a cook like you are. Like I am. Like okay. you are. Okay. You probably could use a plain flour, but you probably could be able to uh, evaluate how much baking yeah, powder. Yeah, but I'm going to do what you want me to do. Okay, well, let's roll it this so way. So self-rising is the recipe. Okay. Okay. So now what do I do? Now you can start it incorporating. I just dump it all in there. Do half. Do, do half. half. Okay. Do half because it's easier. Okay. Do okay. half and work with that. Then you Now what I do with this? Do I mix it with my hand again? Mix it with your hand. Okay. 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 Mix it with your hand. So this the kids could do this too, huh? Anybody can make it. This now you see how it's just coming together like a biscuit, right? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm getting that. You see that? It looks it lift it up and let them see. Lift it up. Like, okay. See it's like a biscuit. Okay, it's like a biscuit. Okay, okay. now we're gonna add the rest of it. The rest of the flour. Okay. Now, so you do it in two parts. In two parts, it's easier. Okay, so should I, should, should I incorporate this first before you, you have more butter? That, you can do that, okay. and then we'll see how much. So if it's drier, you're gonna need. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to get but two biscuits out of that. Okay, so you all your flour. And you can look at it and tell. Yeah, you're gonna be able to look at it and tell before I leave. Before here. you leave here, okay. Yeah, exactly. Now keep mixing. Keep mixing. This is very. Uh, now see, don't that seem like it's a biscuit already? Okay, all right. Yeah. 
And I could use like regular milk for this. It's got to be buttermilk. Buttermilk because it tastes like a good buttermilk biscuit. Okay, so buttermilk biscuit is what it tastes like. That's why they okay, call now, it buttermilk biscuit. That's why they call it not, buttermilk biscuit. Not because, skim milk biscuit. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, so it's got to be real buttermilk. It's got to be real buttermilk. Okay. You kind of draw that together. You know, kind of <laughs> put it together. You want to do what? Kind of pull it together. You want to draw it together? Draw okay. It together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. See? Like, that, bring it like a ball. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. You kind of make it like a dough ball. Okay. But I still got stuff on my hands though. Yeah, so well just you know, take that off. Take it off. Okay, hold on. Now if you had a little more flour next to that, uh -huh. you could be able to dip your fingers like in the flour and it comes off a little. Okay. That's kind of. Oh, that's a good tip. So you put a little more flour. Yeah, exactly. And you dip your finger. Okay, and it yeah. comes off. So bring all this together. Bring it all together. So draw this in. Draw it in. Okay. Uh, I don't want to overwork it, I guess. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to. You, you have to have light hands to do this. Yeah. Okay, so how's See, this? Yeah. There you that's go. it. That's it. So this is this, this is all. That's, this is the dough. That's the biscuit. Okay. Now, now if can I put cheese or something if I want to? Yes, you could. When you when you when you cut your biscuits uh -huh. out, you can flip them over uh -huh. and put your teaspoon full of uh of your cheese in there. Okay. Okay. Or you could just take two thin ones and, and stack them up and just like a grilled cheese biscuit. Exactly. Okay. Put your thin okay. biscuit and then put another one on top of it. And now you got your rich cheese biscuit. Okay. Let's, now let's get ready for our uh, well, rolling. Roller. Okay, the roller pin is over here. Okay, let me get you set up here. Okay, because I'm not set up. No, you're not set up, but you'll be okay. <laughs> you know. Okay, so what are we doing now? Now we're going to put some half flour to the area where we're going to a lot of biscuit out. Okay. okay, you put a lot of flour? You just want enough so it won't be so sticky as Bert, you That's cook. a lot of flour though. That's too much flour in there. Okay, yes ma'am, I see that look. Okay, that look says this is enough flour. Okay, now if you, okay. Because you don't want your biscuit to be all sticky. Like, okay. That's, so that's, you fan it out. Yeah, you can fan it out. Okay, that looks good. Okay, put, now, you, put your... You should, that's a lot of flour, you sure? Okay, since you don't want, he's trying to save money. <laughs> so, no, I just want to be sure. Okay, okay. Okay, we're so, gonna start with your with your section. Okay, yeah, with my section. Okay, put this down. Put just pop it down. Okay. Let's put it down. Okay. Yes. Put a little up here so when you roll it. It won't it stick. Won't okay, so you just stick. put a little up there. Yeah. Uh -huh. You make it rain flour. Yeah, not too much. You don't want the flour to be Oh, not too much on top. But you put a okay, I yeah. got it. Okay. Because you don't want it to be on the biscuit when you take it out of got the it. oven. Okay, perfect. You know, okay. All right. Now what's next? I gotta roll them out. Roll it out. Now do I roll it out thin or thick? How how what we doing? You, it's according to how large you want your biscuits. Okay. Okay. If you, so some I'm people a big like boy. thin biscuits, uh -huh. but you want a bigger biscuit. I want a nice, healthy biscuit. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you don't want to roll it too. So just roll it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now, am I sticking a little or am I good? Yeah, you're sticking a little. I'm you sticking a little. So we got to put more flour on top. Not too much. No, Not, yes, ma'am. You don't want it. That's, that's fine. You, you know, you it's okay? It. Yeah. Okay. You don't want it to be. You sure it's okay? Okay. Let's roll. Okay. Okay. Don't sweat I want to get this out the way thing. though. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Okay. 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 Right. okay. And you know, can then just roll up. See, that's going to be thick enough. You don't want because you don't, you want a healthy biscuit. Oh, right? okay. So they'll yeah. roll out this way, but no, not a whole lot. No, so I just want to even it out. So I put too much flour on top. Yeah. You don't want it to be, you know, snow white. Just a little flour. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, just enough so your rolling pin won't stick on the surface. Okay. That's fine. So go go out like this? Yeah, that's good. That's it? Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's, good. that's good. You know? Yeah. That's it. That was simple. Yeah, simple. Now we're going to cut these out. You want to cut those out. Uh, Let's get a glass. Because you don't have a cutter. I don't have... <laughs> Thank you, Bert, for telling me. I didn't me. want to tell you. you do, thank you for telling Okay, so they're going to go in here. Yeah. Be sure that you put oil in your pan so, so I could, the biscuit won't... What, what, I use some of the, Just the shortening. Just the same shortening. Okay, my hands are kind of... Okay, can you so, help me? Yes, I sure. Okay, so I'll hold this for you. This. Okay. I'll be able to do this for you. And you want to do this so that they don't stick? Yeah, now, you, now all of these little prep things you can do prior to your biscuits being made. So you're just ready to roll yeah, you ready when to it's roll. time to go. Once, okay, you just, once you put your dough down and cut them, all of this is done. You drop them in your pan. So I wasn't prepared. Oh, you know, we were trying to take you step by step. There you go. Step you by know, step. It's best to get lost that way you can find your way. 
Okay, it's okay. best to get lost. Then you can find your way. So now, straight here? No, you want to put this in there just in case you don't have a cutter and you got all of these little grooves. Yeah. That's going to get it. So if you don't have a biscuit cutter, you can use a glass and now all of a sudden. You can use a glass, but usually use a smoother glass so your dough don't get between every so crevices. I, so my glass so is there. we really don't have the right kind, but we I can find, no, I have glasses. Yeah. You want me to get a different glass? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's get a different glass. Okay, let's see. Okay. How, see how's this one? That's going to be a big a biscuit, but we're going to work with that's it. That's too big? Okay, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Okay, what are you well, how's this? <laughs> okay. We'll do it one of that size and then we'll see. Okay, you can get to cut. Okay, you then, want me to cut? Yeah, if yeah, you cut, you want me to get you something to do your hands. No, 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 I'm okay. We'll do it when we're done. Okay, so run this in there. Yeah. And then just uh go to the yeah, to the edge. To the edge. Mm -hmm. Twist you turn. it. Turn. Yeah. And then what? And then you tap your glass. Because you don't have a cutter. Okay. And it comes out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Looking like that. And then you just... And you can shake off some of that excess flour. Yeah. You sure to, because you yeah. don't want the biscuit to be white. So you're just doing it so they don't stick. That's and that came up pretty easily, so they're not going to stick. It won't stick. Okay, okay. Good. Uh -huh. All right. But you don't want it to stick. So you clean it off every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you did this every morning? Every morning. Who, who 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 made the who was responsible for making the biscuits in the house? Whoever was up first. My sisters could make them. My mother would make them, but she had to leave too early. So sometimes she would uh, leave us the responsibility to make them. So every day. Every day. <clears throat> now, was there ever any like competition about who made them? Better? No, because it was too simple to be competition. You did this. It's something like you do every day, every right, day. Right. It's not a job. <clears throat> you just do it and move on. Okay. See, that's a lot of flour on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, but you know that's so okay. you tap it off. Okay, yeah. so that's the, yeah. that's the but step. But next time, <clears throat> you know, uh, because I'm not familiar with your surface, got it, got it. I was a little like Cause hesitant. You, Cause you don't want them to stick at all. Yeah, you don't want them to do that sticking. Okay, and now you put them in the thing. You put them pretty close together. Is that yeah, good? Yeah, that's that's fine. They're gonna rise, and you could just take them loose. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's no problem. Okay, so here we go. Okay. And and so what do we do now if I have you know because it looks like I have gonna have leftover, leftover dough. Okay, now what we did when I was growing up, uh -huh. you took that leftover dough and you pull it together. Uh huh. You draw you draw it together. You draw it together. <laughs> you draw it together. You draw it together, and they called it a H O E cake. A whole cake. A whole cake. Yes, ma'am. You can't say the word. Okay. You can say it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, just, yeah. Wanted, I just wanted you to know what, what you was saying. A whole cake, because everybody familiar with a whole, what a whole is, as an instrument to work <laughs> in the yard. Yes, ma'am. It's an okay. instrument to work. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So now you can make one more product and put it in here. Do one more. One more. Okay. And, and the rest of your dough, yeah, the rest of your dough, what we would make was one big. Okay. Okay. You make one big whole cake. Okay. Now cut you out one biscuit first. Yes, ma'am. Before I make the whole cake. Before you make the whole cake. Now whole cake is just just the, the all the dough put together. All it's of nothing the left, special. Nothing left. All of the special leftover dough. And you would share this, right? So what's the story? So you take this whole okay. cake. Yeah. Take your whole cake. Yep. Now make how it. would you form it? Okay. Make it look. Meanwhile, okay. So the oven's at three hundred and. 50, 50 degrees. 50 degrees. And this goes into a hot oven mm -hmm. to bake up, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you make your whole cake. And the reason why it was called a whole cake because uh, during the time that I grew up, people went to the farm and, you know, the, whatever they were growing, they needed a hole to get the weeds out of. So it was a food farm or was it a... A food farm. Food farm, because you grew your own food. You grew a lot of farmland. Okay. Okay. So at the end of the at the end of the day, what they do they, at the end of their making biscuits, they would have this left over if they didn't need to make all that. Okay. They would bake this in the field on a hoe. They will wash the hoe off. That you just used to rake. Just got through, okay. got through working in the field. Put it over the fire. Uh-huh. And once that hoe got hot. They would put that, you know how the whole is, put your biscuit on <laughs> and it would cook in the fridge. Okay. And you okay. would take a little syrup, 
uh -huh. a little biscuit uh, with your biscuit. Yes, ma'am. You have your little biscuit. Then you have your syrup. You might have a piece of salt meat you beat on boil the morning before and mm -hmm. fried that. Mm -hmm. Salt and meat. Salt meat. Yes. Not, we call it salt pork. Salt right? pork. We call it salt meat. You used to have. Oh, okay. Salt pork. And you boil it to get or rid of to get off all the salt. Or you might have had some ham left over, mm -hmm. and you took it the next day to the fields with you, and they called it a hope. Oh, okay. And people would share. How many people would eat off this? Well, you would hope that you would hope that you didn't have it in the fridge around. Oh, because so, you want so everybody did the same thing so the, and everybody had a hope. So they usually bring their own bread. Okay? Alright. So the biscuits are in the oven, 350 degrees. Yes. For about how long? 20 to 25 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes, and then they'll come out nice and golden brown. And that's according to a if you want it thin ones okay. or large ones. So if you do it thicker, you want to make sure that the oven is the uh, same, as same temperature, but you cook it a little longer. Yeah. There you go. And you watch it. And you watch it. You watch it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going to clean up and uh, we'll be right back. And cook our whole cake. <laughs> and cook our whole cake because the hole is hot. Okay. We'll be back. Oh, yes. We have lost the art of cooking because cooking is not passed on because a lot of food is just... You run to the store, you go and you get a pound of this, or two pounds of that, a roasted chicken, the turkey already prepared, the dressing is already there. So a lot of younger people, they do not know how to cook because it hasn't been passed on. So we have lost a lot of recipes and a lot of ways that we, we was brought up 50, 75 years ago. We have lost those things because no one they don't know how to make it or they don't they don't really have time to try because everybody is so off and running. You get up running, you come home running, the kids gotta go to band, they gotta go to ballet, they gotta go everywhere. But during my time, what did we have to do? Go to school, go to church and play in the front yard. Things have changed. Things have changed, hopefully for the best. My best recipe came from my mother who got it from my grandmother. And my grandmother was, was a cook, and she cooked in some of the hotels and people homes. And uh, she just passed it on to my mother because we didn't really eat a lot of bread other than biscuits. You know, our sliced bread was used for us to take a sandwich to school. But every morning we had biscuits. My mother would get up and make biscuits, and we would have grits, and, and we would have bacon and some of the ham left from the meal of Sunday and so every day we had to sit down and have breakfast before we could go to school. Although my mother wasn't there a lot, we knew that was the routine and there was no quick food, no running to to get a, a burger or none of that. You just ate breakfast then you went on to school. Great, so the biscuits have been in the oven how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Or until they're like kind of golden brown. Golden brown. Okay, mm -hmm. so we can pull the biscuits out of the oven, and uh, I mean, I gotta tell you, the house, first of all, smells like biscuits, and uh, these certainly look like the way they're supposed to look, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, what do you normally eat yours with? How about trying it with any preserves, jams, jellies, so preserves. Serves. Jam. Choice, so, so I've got some peach preserves. Yeah. And I've also got some strawberry yeah, preserves. Because I'm excited to, to try these. Let me get a plate for us to share. We're gonna put a little butter just right on top of each of the biscuits. Mm -hmm. So I keep my butter at room temperature. That way it's already mm -hmm. ready Spread to go. Up. There you go. Y'all hate going to restaurants and they give you cold, frozen yeah, butter. Yeah, frozen butter. Tear off everything on your this plate. Is what I'm oh yeah. Now that looks good. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a picture for Instagram. Now look mm. at that. Look how it oh, no, that's good. Are you happy with the way those came out? Yeah, they look good. They look good. Yeah. The most important thing they're gonna taste. Let's see if the taste is right. Okay. You know, so and this is what happens when you I'm just gonna when you them. grease the bottom of the yeah. pan. So you can actually see just how nice and golden brown. These are now. Now tell me. You were telling me earlier that you could leave these sitting it in the on, the on the counter or something. Yeah, we used to just we used to just leave them in a bowl mm -hmm. with a plate over. Uh -huh. 
and then the next morning you could leave them out till that night. Uh -huh. They should still be soft. So these will stay soft. They will stay soft. And how long do you, you keep them? Well, you can't keep them that long because it's all you ate, right? Well, you could keep them until your sisters and brothers ate them up. There you go. There you go. Okay, so do you want strawberry or you want peach? Let's go with peach. For peach. Me. Okay. Peach, peach for, for you. Me. So I'm just gonna put. Yeah, just peach. A little bit. Yeah, right on that color. You want to get a fork or something? How big you gonna eat this with your hand? What you want? I'm gonna. Uh, I can do it like I did when I was a kid. Okay, you gonna wait for me? Oh, not really. Okay. <laughs> okay, is that is that what it's supposed to be like? Simple, four ingredients, and look at what you come up with. And uh, let's see. Let's see if you like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The outside has a little crisp to it. The inside, if you can see this, the inside is like super flaky on mm -hmm. the inside. And you would think you have to do those layers, not with this. This is really good. And then, mm -hmm. with this jam on top, it takes the cake. Okay? So you gotta give these biscuits a try. They're moist, they're not dry. And they're really good, okay? You know exactly where to find this recipe. It's gonna be on my website at DariusCooks.tv. Listen, there's two things I gotta tell you, as I always do, okay? Food is my life, life is my food. Until next time, I wanna wish you happy cooking from my heart to you. Alright, here we go. Put it back.